Welcome to Theosophy in Wales. I'm Dave Marsland. Why not hold a grudge? Well, I think most of us would agree holding grudges is not a good thing. It's negative. Um, fill yourself with anger. Um, and many of us, I think, have struggled against um, grudge bearing. Um, there are people who never forgive, never forget, and I think most of us are not in that category. Now, in this posting, I'm not going to say uh, you shouldn't stand up for yourself because um, history has been made by people who stand up against injustice. Um, also, there are people, and if you don't stand up to them, they, they may well destroy you. What I'm really um, talking about here is um, perpetuating anger and resentment against somebody. Okay, um, let's see you have a grudge against somebody, and you may have a very valid reason for that grudge. Assuming the other person, who could call your opponent, um, holds a grudge, you will engage in a tit-for-tat war of attrition, which will perpetuate from life to life. Now, the negative energy of your intention by holding the grudge may well cause you to get even in or settle the score in a future life. Now, if your opponent is in the, the same mindset, uh, they will also hold a grudge and they will probably get even with you in an even later life, if not the same one, but it, it, this, this can carry on from life to life. And uh, this uh, in theosophy is termed um, a negative karmic account. Um, there are positive karmic accounts, but we've got, we've got a really negative one here, that's what we're talking about. Now, while you're engaged in this negative karmic account, your spiritual progress will be on hold, it's totally suspended, and any attempt to make spiritual progress will be sabotaged, you, you just won't make any. And this will continue until somebody, or one of you, until one of you lets it go. Now, once you let it go, you then can move on spiritually, you've accepted the situation, you've probably become aware of, of, of karma. Um, but once you let it go, um, then it throws the um, pressure on the other person to deal with their own negativity, because you, you, you've ceased to engage. So they, they really would have to deal with that themselves, or if they let it go, you then have to deal with the negativity. Um, something else that happens as well is that the, the anger and resentment reinforces personality traits. Um, this, is, um, this is something you don't need and you won't make any spiritual progress if this, if the, as this happens. Now, say getting a raw deal from uh, well, getting a raw deal is often karmic anyway, but um, getting a raw deal from an organisation, um, you may get a raw deal, but there may have been no malicious intent directed at you, no specific person to hold a grudge against. Now, this is, this is probably really karmic, and in the Bhagavad Gita, um, it says that you, we all interact with each other in various paradigms through various lives. Um, so you perhaps have to accept that there is, this is a karmic consequence of something that um, has happened in a previous life and you've had a raw deal in this one. Um, holding grudges against organisations, um, well, I, I, I don't see how you can keep that as a karmic account. And, um, against a certain organisation because the, unless it's against a specific person in an organisation, probably um, you would just reinforce negativity. And if you, you would not do this, say, hold grudges in one life, that would reinforce the tendency towards holding negativity and anger uh, in future lives. And you may become somebody, an angry person, um, who never forgives and never forgets, and for whom revenge is not enough. Um, I don't think that's a direction any of us really want to go in. 
Now, it's another thing. Um, most religions say let it go. And I think that is significant. And I don't underestimate how difficult it can be very often to let things go. But I think this is, this is contained in most religions and I think it is a truth that it is beneficial in terms of spiritual development to let it go. Um, and having said that, I think it's really it's really a per lifestyle decision to be whether you want to be the sort of person who doesn't get angry, gets even, never forgives, never forgets. Or, and the more you work in that way, the more that becomes reinforced and that will reinforce through future lives. So there we are, this is the opportunity at any time, it's not easy very often, the opportunity at any time to let it go and it's up to you.